I'm going to give you a quick Caustic 3 tutorial today on automation. Alright guys, let's get to it. Alright, so I have a song here that I've already posted before. Press this circle recording button in the bottom right hand corner. And now that it's flashing, you'll see that you're about to start doing automation. Now, there are two different kinds of automation. There's automation in patterns, and there's automation in the song mode. Now, when you do automation in the song mode, as you can see, you have this cutoff rising right now. So, because that's rising, I can go into the sequencer and tap this box in the upper left-hand corner with all the boxes. And now you'll see you are here in the automation area. Now you see no song automated controls. And that's because I'm on the mixer. You have one for each individual instrument. So if I go into the very first piano where you saw the cutoff, you see filter cutoff up here to the left. Now if I did anything else to it, like turn the attack up right here and then the release, I'm going to go back to the sequencer and I'll see it in there. Volume, release. Now I don't want those, so I'm going to delete, none, all, delete, filter cutoff. Now, you see how it's kind of jumbled up and it's kind of a whole bunch of random dots? If you want it to be a more smooth, like, entry, you can just go in there and delete all of these in between the one at the very top and the one at the very bottom. And that way, it'll be a clean rise. When you go in here and it says mixer, master, effects, your effects, of course, Go to effects, and this is all your automated area. I usually don't automate too many of this, um, too many of the effects, unless I'm really trying to get into some good details. And of course, the mixers for the mixer in there, the masters for the master in there. You get the point. Now, switch to pattern mode. And now that it's in pattern mode, when you do it like this, right, it basically will do it per pattern. You can do automation per individual one so it's set and ready to go for that pattern. And you won't find it in this automation area like usual. You won't find it in this one. You will find it in your PCM synthesizer itself. You want to go down, hit the mode, and see you're in the automation area. Now you see all that's all the craziness. Of course, the lower these bars are, the lower the volume or whichever one that you're trying to do, the lower or the higher the effects are. You can do a clean, you know, up and down like that if you want. Or you can just do whatever you want. You know, you can higher them all up. You can lower them all down. It doesn't matter. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If you haven't gotten my free demo yet, put your email in the description below and I'll get right to you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell on so that way you can get my videos every single time. Alright guys, I'll see you next week.